Hello and welcome back to ESBR Boxing. Delighted to be joined by my esteemed colleague Gregory Doyle tonight. The subject on offer tonight is one we've done previously. Um, so we're looking at our fantasy fights catalogue. Um, we've previously done this for Amir Khan. We've done this for Andre Ward. And tonight we're looking at one of the, the new potential pound for pound kings in Naya Inoue. Firstly, Greg, how are we, mate? Oh, and I'm great. Thank you so much for having me. Great to talk about um, another few fantasy fights that we wish that we, we could have seen. Perfect. So we'll jump straight into it. Naya Inoue, as I said, he's, he's pound for pound top five, top three with most people. Um, he's at a weight where there's been some boxing greats, we shall say. Um, so the, me and Greg have spoke off camera. Um, we've essentially picked three fighters between us. Um, and then I'm just going to go into it and question yourself, Greg, on, on your opinions on these three fighters. So we'll start with number one. Um, I think you'll like this one first. We'll start with, I believe, he's your favourite boxer of all time, Eric Morales. Um, so, Naira Nui, Eric Morales. How would you see that fight playing out? It's a really good fight, Owen. And one of the reasons that I think we both kind of we were thinking Eric Morales ourselves is because Eric Morales is a little bit of a throwback fighter and he's fought guys who have got lightning speed and power. Let's not forget he fought he fought Manny Pacquiao three times. I think it'd be interesting to see how much he can take Inouye's power um, at super bantamweight. For me, I think Inouye might have just punched harder than Manny Pacquiao at that weight. Um, Morales dealt with Pacquiao's power well while he was in his prime. We obviously know how the last two fights went. Um, he was a little bit of a short fighter making weight after that. But I find that one really difficult to call. Owen, because I think if Morales could take the power, then Morales would beat Inoue. But it's, 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 a, it's a very, very difficult one. I don't want to sit in the fence, but I think the reason I picked that fight is because it, it is so tough to call. Morales was relentless. He could take a shot back in the days at Super Bantamweight. So if, if you're asking me honestly, forgetting it's my favourite fighter, I, I see a scenario where Morales may have just out toughed him on points if I'm being honest I think as well it's such an intriguing fight because in a way we've seen at four weights now he's a four weight world champion and personally I'd say Eric Morales is his best run of his career was at super bantam weight so as yeah. we see him a new way step up through the weights as, as he's coming up he'd be coming up to a weight where Eric Morales is comfortable it's the best weight he's been at so I think when you look at those aspects, I think it, that's, as you said, where it plays out and to make such an intriguing fight. Um, we'll move on to the next one, Manny Pacquiao. Now, Pacquiao, more than a new age, fought at so many weights. Um, he absolutely flew, flew through the weights in his illustrious career. Do you see this playing out in a new age favour at Super Bantam? Because Pacquiao went quite a bit higher than Super Bantam. Um, you know, he fought for so long. So you look at the stage of where he was at Super Bantam. Do you feel that plays into Inoue's hands more? Yeah, you know, I'm actually sorry I've picked the fighters that we picked on <laughs> because <laughs> you don't realise how hard it is until you start talking about them to separate them. I think Pacquiao, it might be a little bit of fighting an orthodox clone of yourself in, in, in times um, fighting Inoue. And, you know... It would be really who could take the power better. And I have to pay respect to Manny Pacquiao. I think Manny Pacquiao may have been able to take Noya Inouye's power a little bit better than Noya Inouye could have took um, Manny Pacquiao's. I'm nitpicking here, Owen, but I did see a very, very slight glimpse of Inouye looking hurt just for a little second against Fulton. I can't remember if it was round four or five. I did catch him for a second and we thought, wow, like I've been hit here. Um, and it was only a split second, so maybe I'm being harsh. But you need to remember the guys that Pacquiao fought down at those weights. Your Juan Manuel Marquez, your Eric Morales, um, your Marco Antonio Barreras. I think it would have been a fight that went right to the death. I think it may have went to points, but I think it's one that it might have just been edged to Pacquiao. And I don't think there's any shame in saying that because... A lot of people regard Pacquiao as one of the greatest fighters of all time. So, yeah, a really intriguing fight for me. 
I'm sure Elliot stopped all of that, seeing as it's uh, his favourite fight of all time. <laughs> I think why yeah. that fight's so intriguing for me is because you look at Pacquiao, I mean, he fought from, if I'm correct, it was flyweight all the way through to light middleweight. So yeah. when you look at Pacquiao, I think it'd be up for debate where people feel his best weight was. Um, yeah. I think when you have to factor that into to the argument, it, it does definitely make it interesting. Moving on to yeah. the third one, a man um, who, again, not he doesn't need much introduction, Marco Antonio Barrera. Um, this one for me, again, is intriguing, as in Barrera was only stopped once in his career. Inoue, we've seen, has freak power. He's he's an he's an animal to be quite honest with yourself. For a man that's only been stopped once in his career, could you see a new way stopping Barrera, or how does that fight sort of? Would he outbox a new way, or how, how does that play out? Well, um, since you kindly told the viewers that Eric Morales is my favourite fighter of all time, um, I'm really taking the glasses off, and I'm going to be really honest here. Um, for whatever reason, they fought three times, and there's a part of me that I thought they were one fight each in a draw, um, Marco Antonio Barrera and Eric Morales. But if you'd ask him who I thought just had the slight bear of the trilogy, I would say I thought it was Marco Antonio Barrera. So that's as honest as it, as it can get. But where I am going to contradict myself is Marco Antonio, the, the most difficult fights of his career was against fast, hard, sharp-shooting fighters. If you look at guys like Manny Pacquiao, um, he fought, it wasn't Kennedy McKinney, but he fought another lad, Junior Jones. Junior Jones, who stopped Marco Antonio Barrera, who was slick, fast and power. I just think I knew he might have been a bit of a nightmare for Marco Antonio Barrera, based on the style of fighter that was difficult for Barrera. One time Barrera, but he struggled with fast, sharp shooting, yeah. hard hitting fighters, and that's exactly what Anui is. So there's a part of me that sees that Anui might have been able to stop Barrera late on, um, and that happened to him before. So yeah, I think Anui might get the nod, and it's just styles make fights, and that was a style that Barrera struggled with on. Brilliant analysis there, Greg. You can't really argue with anything you've said, but <sighs> if I had to put you on the spot, before we move on to sort of the, the wild card that I, um, I, I come up with, um, who would you say out of the three would have stood not, firstly, had the best chance of beating Inoue out of the three, and then who do you think Inoue would be most likely to beat out of the three? So both sides of the, of the coin, really. Um, it's difficult. I would like to say Morales because Morales knew how to neutralise Pacquiao the first time, but Based on the power aspect, I think that Anu would have maybe found Pacquiao the hardest because I think if Pacquiao really hit him, I think Anu may have struggled with it. And I think the fighter that he would have held the best chance of beating would have been Barrera. Thank you for your picks there, Greg. The wild card I did want to discuss with yourself. Now, it might not be the most appealing fight. However, at the weight, Carl Frampton... It would be a chance to get Nio Inoue onto these shores. I mean, I know he's got his base at home. Would that be a fight that, A, do you think it would build up interest? And how much of a chance would you actually give Carl Frampton? Be a massive fight on these shores. Um, Owen, I think it could do pay-per-view numbers, good ones. Um, it would have been billed as like the monster of the world coming over to the UK to fight the UK's best. Um, at that time, that weight. Carol Frampton, you need to give him a lot of respect. He went to America, fought Leo Santa Cruz, put in the performance of his career. Uh, I believe he was the first man to beat Santa Cruz. He beat Scott Quigg, um, who Scott Quigg, I think a lot of people forget how good a fighter Scott Quigg was. Very, very good fighter, held his own um, at the weight, and Carol Frampton beat him quite convincingly. Um, I think it would have been a hard fight for Inouye, but I think maybe after seven or eight rounds of taking the power, I think I knew he might have just had too much and stopped Frampton. Um, but I think Frampton would have, have made it a difficult night for him for a while with the style and getting out of the way of the shots. But once Frampton slowed down and I knew he started landing the power shots, it's no discredit to Frampton. I knew he's just a bit of a, you have to call him a bit of a freak, don't you? 
So, yeah, I see you now stopping Frampton in the second half of the fight, but a tricky first half to the fight. Greg, I think, like you say, the best way to describe a new way is a freak, and that's the reason yeah. we're doing these videos of an active current world champion. Again, for anyone watching at home, this is a, a series that is likely we'll, we'll continue to do. You know, we've we've done the fights uh, before. As I mentioned, Greg, thank you so much for joining me tonight. For anyone watching, keep an eye out for all our content, big fight predictions, weekly previews, interviews, the lot. Like, subscribe, and comment below on how you think the fights would have played out and if you think they were fair sort of fantasy fights. Greg, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Thank you for having me on. Pleasure to speak to you as always.